Hello and welcome to Oric Strength Session. So today's session again is going to be two circuits, upper and lower, but we're going to start with lower. Again, as always, we'll start with the warm-up. I'll then take you through the exercises and then we'll get started. So again, from here, we're just going to go hamstrings first. Same as always, extend and flex through the knee. Again, make sure you're keeping the toes pointed back, heel kicking up towards the ceiling. Six on one side, and then go six on the other. Once you've done six on both sides, we're then gonna go hands and knees, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, hand on the back of the head, rotate in and out. Let's so go four on one side, four on the other. We can form both sides, you've got opposite arm, opposite leg, or as some people know it, a dead bug. So again, from here, make sure core is engaged. You're not lifting the chest up. Chest is staying down towards the floor. Gauge the core, push that heel back. We're going four on one side, four on the other. Once you have four on both sides, you're going to go press up position or you can do it on your knees. So you're going to go up like this, feet wide of the shoulder width. Looking to tap the shoulders. Do four taps each shoulder. And then you're going to go split stance position. We're going to squeeze the glutes, we're going to shift the weight forward. Raising the hand up. Do four on one side, four on the other. From there, come up into standing. You're going to push the hips back, shins are vertical, palms facing away, squeeze the shoulder base together. Do six. Once you're six of them, we're going to squat down, grab the knee, extend up, and then keep that leg back. Kicking that heel back as well, like we did with the dead bugs and the hamstring exercise at the start. So again, three on one side, three on the other. Again, really pull that knee up. From there, we're going to squat down, grab the ankle, extend up. Three on one side, three on the other. Once you're three on both sides, we're then just going to march on the spot. Again, using the arms as well, move through the shoulders, not the elbows. So stiff elbows, move through the shoulders. When I say go, we're just going to start skipping on the spot. Go. And rest it there. This time we do the same thing, but we're going to move forward and backwards when we skip. So the first go, we're going to start on the spot. Second go, we're going to move forward and backwards. So again, start by just marching on the spot. Go, go. So again, you should be driving off each step and rest it there. This time we're gonna go sideways, okay? It's the same thing again. First go, start on the spot. Second go, move side to side. So when you're ready, start on the spot. Go, go. And rest it there. OK, 
Okay, so today's session, if you have mini bands, use mini bands. If you have long resistance bands, use them as well. So again, if you've got these, use these, and if you've got these as well. So again, the first exercise is gonna be a glute bridge, okay? So I'll show you the exercises, and then we'll go through them as a circuit. So the first one, glute bridge, band just above the knees. We're then gonna go 15 glute bridges with the band around the knees. Once you've done 15 of them, hold the top part and do 15 pulses. So you're gonna push the knees out in that glute bridge position. 15. If you haven't got the band, we're just looking for 15 glute bridges. From there, we're gonna to go to Romanian deadlift. 12 of these. So again, grab the bag or water bottles, push them hips back, keep the shins vertical, 12 reps. We're then going for split squats. So again, you can hold your weights in your hand, you can hold a weight here. We're gonna do 12 split squats each side and swap sides. Then we're gonna do 15 squats. So again, you can hold a weight here, you can hold a weight like that, so in the bag, or you can hold them down by your side here. Again, I'd prefer you to hold it here or here. Again, we're then just gonna do 15 squats. Then we'll rest it there, and we'll repeat that three times. Okay, so when you're ready to get yourself set for that first exercise, we're going glute bridges. So again, if you've got the band, we're going to do 15 and then 15 pulses. If you haven't got the band, just do normal glute bridges. If you want, if you haven't got the band to make it harder, you go glute bridge up, drive the knee, drive the knee, back down. 15 of them. So we're going to go in three, two, one, let's go. So again, think about squeezing the glutes. Fifteen with the band on, and then fifteen pulses. Once you have fifteen, fifteen pushing the knees out. Don't let the knees touch though. Push them out. Bring them back to about hip width apart. Once you've done that, take the band off. Then we're going Romanian deadlift. 12 Romanian deadlifts. One, two, three, four, squeeze the glutes all the way up. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. From there, you're going into that split squat position. So again, you can use something if you need to lean on it. If not, 15, 12 on one side, 12 on the other, pushing on that front leg. We're going 12 on one, 12 on the other. Once you're on 12, grab that bag if you want. 15 squats. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, over halfway. And rest it there. So again, 30 seconds rest. And we'll go around again. So again, you can time your own rest periods if you want. If you need longer than 30 seconds, take longer. Okay, so that's 10 seconds gone on the rest already. I'm just gonna grab my band, ready to go again. Everyone must be really eager today, Friday, end of the week. Let's get it done. Okay, get himself ready, we've got five seconds. Get that band on if you've got it, if not, normal glute bridges. 
add the march in if you want. Three, two, one, let's go. So again, add that march in if you haven't got the band, but I still want 15. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Knees are about hip width apart. Push them out from there, back to about hip width apart. Don't let them come in. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze the glutes. And then from there, up into Romanian deadlifts. Again, push them hips back, squeeze them up. Think about a glute bridge, squeeze them up. 12. 12. Once you've done that, put the bag down. Again, you can hold the bag you want for the split squats. You can add a weight either side. We need 12 split squats each side. Push on that front leg. Keep that core engaged. 12 on one, 12 on the other. Once you're done that, pick that bag up if you want. We're going 15 squats. Two, three. Four, five, six. Keep that core engaged. Keep that chest up. And rest it there. 30 seconds rest again. Grab yourself some water if you need it. So again, 15 seconds, then we're going round through that one more time. Okay, 10 seconds, get yourself ready. So again, from here, feet about hip width apart, knees in line with that, then you have 15 glute bridges. You can do this without the band if you want, you can try it. Again, the band's just gonna add resistance. So you can do the pulses without the band if you want. Once you're on 15, squeeze the glutes. Push them knees out, keep these glutes squeezed though. Don't let them relax. Knees should start at hip width and end up back in that position. Don't let them hit each other. Once you're done 15, band off into Romanian deadlift. Hips go back, 12 reps. Once you're done 12, into that split squat position again. Grab the water bottles or the weights down by the side. Which have 12 on one, 12 on the other. Again, if you have dumbbells, you can rest them on your shoulders and do your 15 squats. If you haven't got dumbbells, grab your bag. Come on, let's push it. Get them quads moving. Come on, feel that burn, push through it. 
And once you're on your 15, rest it there. Okay, so we're going to go upper body now. Whilst you guys are resting, I'm going to go through what we're doing next. Okay, so the first one is a split stance bent over rope. So you can use a water bottle for this. Hand against the surface or against the wall. Nice straight line from shoulder, hip, all the way back. Roll it up from there. To make it harder, take that arm away. Stay in that position. Again, you can use mini bands for this. So you can stand on the mini band. Squeeze that shoulder blade back. This is for 12 reps. We're then going into press up position. So press ups, same options all the time. You've got normal press up, slow down, drop to the knees, push back up. Or you've got the incline option. Take your hands here. Again, the higher the incline, the easier it's going to be. Again, to make the press up harder, you can either slow it down, push back up, or add a half rep. Either way, we're looking for 10 reps. From there, you're going to go bend over, band pull apart. So again, if you've got a band like this, you're going to use this. Hips are going to go back. You're going to pull it apart. Squeeze them shoulder blades together. If you haven't got a band, you're going to use the weights and do a bent over reverse fly. From there, you're then going to go split stance, shoulder, shoulder press. So, left leg's forward, so my right hand's pushing up. We're looking for 10 reps. If your weight's not heavy enough, push it up, slow down. Or again, you can add that half rep. Or, you can use your band. Again, you can stand on the band to change your resistance. So the shorter the band is, the harder it's going to be. We're looking for 10 reps each side. Okay, so get yourself ready for that first exercise. We're going for that split stance, bent over row. I'm going to use the band for this. We're going to go in three, two, one, let's go. We're looking for 12 reps each side. Watch on 12 and one. 12 on the other side. Again, take that hand away. Make that exercise that much harder. Feel it in the glutes. Once you've done that, going into that press-up position. So again, you can go for that half rep or that slow on the way down, normal speed on the way up to make it harder, or to make it easier, normal press-ups. So look for 10 reps. Keep that core engaged, squeeze the glutes. Once you've done your 10 reps, we're then going into that kneeling shoulder press. So again, you can use the bottle, or you can use a band. Either way, if your left leg's forward, you're pressing with the right hand. Ten on one side, ten on the other. So you're not just going to stand on it. Have that palm facing inwards, push it up. Once you've done that, rest it there. Again, 30 seconds rest, and we're going to go again. So again, as always with these sort of sessions, there is a cardio element. Exercise is done back to back. Again, if the weight's heavy enough, your heart rate is going to be in a high zone, okay?
the energy system you're using is the similar energy, well, it's the same energy system that you'd use for an all-out sprint when you're lifting that heavy enough weight. Again, because the reps are a little bit higher, the work time is going to be a little bit longer. So again, you're still going to get that a heart rate elevated. Okay, so that's the end of the rest there. We're going into that split stance, single arm row. Going in three, two, one. Let's go. So again, take that arm away to make it harder. If not, push into the wall. Make sure you're pushing into it. Once you're on 12 and one, then going 12 on the other. So again, down like that, straight arm. Look like you're about to sprint off. Once you're on 12 on both sides, into that press up position. So again, I'm looking for 10 press ups. If you can give me five full press ups, I'd rather you give me five full press ups then 10 incline. Once you've done that, we're looking for that bent over, band pull apart. We're looking for 15 of these. I don't think we did these ones last time. I might have missed them out. Looking for 15. I miss out exercises when it comes to a Friday. I do too many in the week. I'm too tired. Okay, from there, we're gonna go into that kneeling shoulder press position. From there, both knees at about 90 degrees. Pressing up, hand facing inwards, palm facing inwards. <sighs> Top sides. Again, I am sorry if we missed the, the uh, band pull aparts on the original circuit. Again, you can add them in at the end if you want. <sighs> and rest of that. Okay, one more time round. 30 seconds rest. Then we're going to finish there. Okay, almost there. We will have one push to at the end. Last circuit. Okay, so we've got 10 seconds. Then we're going last time round. So grab whatever you're using. Going in, three, two, one, let's go. And swap sides. And into press-ups. Remember, do the ones that you can do. But again, make sure you're challenging yourself. Okay, from there, we're then going into that. Bend over, band, pull apart, or that reverse fly. Hips go back, squeeze them shoulder blades together. Again, if you've got the band, the closer your hands are at the start, the harder it's gonna be. Once you've done that, we're going into that split stance, shoulder press. Again, palm facing in. 10 reps each side. Ten on one, ten on the other. And 
the rest of that. Whew, okay, so we're gonna have 15 seconds rest and we're gonna do one more bent over band pull aparts. Just to make sure I didn't miss any. I don't wanna cheat anybody out of any extra gains that they can make. Okay, so band pull aparts or bent over reverse fly, going for 15. Hopefully everyone's doing it with me. Again, if you did it, this is just gonna be an extra one. Oh, I rested there. Whew. Okay, well done everyone. Good session to finish with on a Friday. Again, we're just gonna go through a cool down and then we're gonna finish that. So yeah, let's lay on our back, one foot on top of the knee. Let's pull that leg in. Again, just finish with that cool down. Again, take your time, take, get your breath back before you start this if you want. And swap sides. Okay, from there, we're gonna lay on our side. We're gonna stretch out the quads. So again, top leg comes over, hold on your bottom arm. This top arm then grabs the bottom leg. Then pull this ankle up towards you. And swap sides. Same thing again, top leg comes over. Bottom arm holds that, top arm holds the bottom leg. And then from there, we're going to go into a kneeling position. Hips go back, walk the fingertips away. As you walk them away, try and drop your forearms and your elbows towards the ground and dropping your head in between your arms. Still keep them fingertips stretched away. Again, now you should feel it in your lats, into your shoulders, maybe into your upper back. Okay, from there we're gonna go split stance position. Again, knee under hip, under shoulder, squeeze the grip, raise hands up, lean over and back. And swap sides. So again, squeeze, lift up, lean over, and back. From there, come down to the kneeling position or standing, hands behind the back, lift the hands up. And rest it there. Okay, just to finish with today, again, this is gonna be a little bit on exercise selection, sorry. So again, a lot, I hear a lot of people say things like, oh, you need to be working really hard every day, you need to be pushing your body every day. Again, I, I notice a lot of people that say that, like a lot of high intensity interval training. Nothing wrong with high intensity interval training, just remember it puts a lot of stress on the body, okay? So again, you're gonna be in an elevated heart rate zone for the whole session, okay? So again, that's a lot of stress. That's a lot of courses all being released. So again, remember that exercise selection is important. So again, mix it up. I'd only recommend doing two to three high intensity interval training sessions a week. Mix up then with some steady state cardio, some weight lifting like this. Okay, so your heart rate's up, but it's not like a hit session. Okay, and again, remember that don't use exercise as a way of eating more food, okay? So again, you can lose weight and gain weight through diet alone. Use exercise to make it sustainable, okay? So again, that's the little tips for today. If you have any questions on anything I mentioned, please don't hesitate to ask. Again, any feedback is greatly appreciated as well. So anything you didn't like, anything you liked, anything you want me to discuss, again, you can comment on the video itself or just a message to myself, I don't mind. Again, that's it for today. Enjoy your weekends, everyone, and I'll be back again on Monday for another strength session. Thank you.